How you feeling? Uh, it's feeling better. Uh, went through practice today a little bit. Uh, went up and down, shot, so it's feeling a little better. Um, do you, do you, how much of practice did you participate in today? Um, probably about 75% of it, so got almost there. Is it going to be a game time decision tomorrow? Is it uh, probably respond. Um, no, I don't want to rush it. You know, I don't want to keep playing hurt and whatnot. Just try to, um, you know, get, get as healthy as I can. And if I feel good tomorrow, then I'll go. Because obviously I, I would love to play. So. Can you take us through the moment when it happened and, you know, what went through your head, what you thought if it was going to be worse than it was or what were your expectations when it uh, I, I thought it was going to be a little worse than what it was just because usually um, I may sprain my ankle or roll it I get up really quick, but um, you know it, it was just a different type of pain that I kind of felt. But um, it's not as bad as what we thought. Um, you know, got on the court yesterday as well a little bit, so you know each day is getting better. So. Um, Does it change the I mean, where you guys are right now? How cautious you are, maybe? With um. I mean, yeah, a little bit. You know, you don't want to just, you know, keep playing, you know, you know, aggravate some more, and then, you know, potentially you got to sit out longer in the off season, and you're losing time working out and stuff like that. But um, I don't think it's that big of really an issue to worry about stuff down the line, down the line that far. So, Kyle, this is the most you've seen Lonzo do so far. This stuff, uh, yeah, it's the most he's done. Um, I mean, from what I've seen, um, you know, he's shooting more, doing more ball handling, moving around. So, it, with, with obviously the state of things, I mean, do you have to kind of go back to what the priorities were last season in terms of development and, 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 and you guys using this as an opportunity just to get better, kind of like last year with the playoffs for every Uh, No, I don't think so. I think all this year I've been focused on my development, you know, doesn't change, you know, whether you win or lose, you always try to come to win. So, um, you know, for me, I've treated every single game as like development. I've been developing all year. So, um, you know, with the stakes not being as high, you know, potentially, but, you know, obviously you get to develop a little bit more with, um, you know, responsibilities and priorities on the court. But is that cause a mental challenge right now <clears throat> to have that mindset to elevate your game? Knowing that you're dealing with an injury and be where you are in the standings? No, no, not at all. Just because you know, I got a long career ahead of myself. I'm going to be playing basketball for a long time. So, you know, every game, every minute you play on the court as a young player is precious for development. And um, yeah, that's always my mindset. So, what have you done off the court this year to kind of keep your joy or keep, you know, your focus? Whether there's been lots of challenges on the court for this group? Um, I just I always hang out with the people that you know I care about the most, the people that are you know always around me, um, you know my circle of friends, you know, just regular people stuff. I don't really do much you else than that. Anything like uh, you know I don't get into movies or any, any sort of escape? Do you have any escapes? Uh, I don't really have escapes. I sit in my house all day. I don't really do much. So that's my escape, I guess. A couple more, please. If, if, Lonzo is able to get back, you know, 12, 10 games left or so. I mean, do you see value in sort of the whole group playing together and being healthy, even if you guys are well enough out of the playoffs? Do you think it can build something for next season? Um, I'm not really sure. I think you could. Um, but at the same time, you got to worry about, you know, jeopardizing getting hurt again, not just coming back 98%, but 100%. And, um, you know, there's good and bad to it all. I mean, the good thing was just to get more experience, especially for him. Uh, he hasn't really played almost a full NBA season in the past two years, so every minute is going to help him for sure. But um, it's all about the safety and longevity of, you know, health. So, Looking at your just individual goals coming into the season, do you feel like you're progressing where you want to be? Just talking more from an individual perspective. Um, I think I'm getting there. Um, you know, I had goals that I wanted to do and didn't happen, but, um, you know, 
it's all a journey. You know, everything just kind of, you know, comes and goes. And, you know, you just try to come to the gym and keep it simple, keep the main thing the main thing and work and work. And, you know, eventually goals and accomplishments, they just randomly add up when you focus on those little type of things. So, you know, for me, I just try to do that every single day. And, um, you know, some come and some, you know, don't. But, um, you know, hopefully they come later in the journey. So. Is there any significance to you in, in getting more wins than last season? Say it again. Do you, do you want to get more wins this season than last season? Is that important to you? Yeah, I mean, you know, it would be nice to get more wins than last year. You know, you don't want to lose. You don't want to keep losing. I mean, yeah, you're at the development stage of the season, but, you know, it's still a lot funner when you win. You know, you can develop and lose to have a terrible feeling still. So. You know, it's always about winning, no matter what. So.